What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I have 10 weapons you need in Forsaken. Now we know the game isn't out yet but many many of the new weapons and armors and items and consumables can be found via databases and that's where all of today's information comes from but some of the weapons people look absolutely incredible. But before we get into it guys, I have an exclusive Gambit Emblem code to give away. To win it, simply make sure you're subscribed to this channel, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Simple as that. Also guys, stay tuned until the end of the video to find out about my monthly controller giveaway. Okay, so going through light.gg, we can see a whole host of new weapons coming with the Forsaken. Some way more unique than others. The ones today I speak of, in my opinion, are the most unique I could find. Now I will say spoilers lie ahead and if you don't want to be spoiled for sure get the hell out of here now guys also there are many other weapons that are locked and we actually can't see what they are these could be raid weapons or other things so yes this excludes them too also the video includes no exotics just those are legendary beauties and these legendaries when the forsaken drops could have random roles but within the database it states some do and some don't but we will see but going by the database most of today's weapons seem to have a lot of roles. Also to include, the weapon stats do seem a little kind of glitched on the site, so ignore what I do not mention. Okay so let's get into it, and first up we have the Bygones. This is a kinetic push rifle, now this is obtained via playing Gambit, earning that infamy rank and opening those packages. This weapon has a great great role, which is why I'm including it. It's the same archetype of my favourite push rifle the last perdition, which is 390 rounds per minute. Perks has extended barrel, high calibre rounds, rampage and outlaw. Now to me, this is ticking all boxes so far for a PvP weapon which we just own. So I am super super excited in getting it and that's why I've included it in this top 10. So the Bygones, a weapon unlocked via playing Drifter. Okay so next up we have the Sleepless Rocket Launcher. This is unlocked via opening packages with the new vendor in a dreaming city. Now the reason I have included this is because of tracking, but not only that, it has crazy blast radius. Shame it doesn't really have cluster bombs though, but hey, there might be another inclusion in this top 10 which might indeed do so. So the sleepless rocket launcher, obtained via the dreaming city, one of the new rockets with tracking and a crazy blast radius. This could be good people, it really could. Okay, so moving on and look what's back people, the Vestian Dynasty. Now sidearms since the update for me have been overshadowed, rarely ever seen one being used, but this guys, this looks epic. Now this is obtained over the course of the Forsaken campaign, but look at this thing's aim assist and recoil direction, Jesus Louise. But more than that guys, check out this thing's rolls, extended barrel, alloy mag, kill clip and dragonfly, damn, pulling out all the stops here. I can actually see this thing being a great weapon for many scenarios, it might actually help put sidearms back on the board too, or maybe not, we will see. Next up we have another sidearm, the Death by Scorn. This is again obtained over the course of the Forsaken campaign, but this one guys is super unique, it has aggressive burst, harder in 2 burst fire, nice. It also has full auto meaning you can hold down that trigger, that's even more epic. But then it has ricochet rounds and head seeker. Damn oh damn, I can honestly see this thing having a massive impact on PvP for sure. Sounds great and I cannot wait to get my little baby hands on it. So next up we have the only sword on this list and it just stood out to me so I thought I'd include it. It's called the Abide the Return and it's obtained via ranking up packages in the Dreaming City. As we know swords ain't the best right now in game. I've said for a while swords are just swords, once you have one there isn't much difference to the other. What we need going forward are swords that offer even more unique things. The Black Talon Exotic does exactly that with the ability to shoot projectiles from it. This legendary by the return, although not as unique as the Black Talon, it does have a great set of perks which I believe could work really well. It has tireless blade, powered sword kills, grant sword ammo, which we know can be really helpful. But it also has assassin's blade, sword kills, boost movement speed and damage. I do like the sound of that people, I really do. Like I said swords need to offer much more, hopefully that comes with the Forsaken. Next up we have an auto rifle which makes me get wet in my pants. It's called the Hardline and you obtain it from Gambit packages. So why in this particular weapon makes me get so excited? It's this thing's perks for sure. It has extended mag, 
It also has Rampage, which we all love. But then it offers something new, a perk called Onslaught. This weapon's rate of fire increases as you stack Rampage. Like seriously people? Seriously? Also rifles are my thing and this just sounds absolutely incredible. I cannot wait. It sounds incredible, let's hope it performs the same way. Okay, so next up we have the Bad Omen Rocket Launcher. Remember that rocket launcher I spoke of earlier? Tracking rockets and cluster bombs? Well, this is it, guys. The Bad Omen is another Gambit package item, so Gambit will be fun for sure, people, because so many of these epic weapons seem to be coming from Gambit. And hey, Bungie, want reasons for us to play their new game mode, and these seem to be that for sure. Tracking and cluster, like the times of D1. Moving on guys, and next up we have this sniper rifle called the Twilight Oath, obtained via Dreaming City packages. What's unique about this one? Well, let's look. We see it has box breathing, which we know from the Whisper of the Worm can be stupid effective. But look guys, the weapon also has full auto. Full auto on a sniper rifle? Like seriously? Now I will include, like I said at the start of the video, these could be a part of this weapon's random rolls or could be fixed into place. Either way, the chance of having full auto on a sniper, although I don't see many benefits, it's definitely unique for sure and it's for this reason alone I added it to this list. Okay so next up we have this strike exclusive weapon called the Warden's Law. This is obtained via the Warden of Nothing Nightfall and wow guys, well, it sounds amazing. So not only does this thing have aggressive burst, meaning it's a burst firing hand cannon, it also has rampage. But not only that guys, it has something new, something called fourth times a charm. Rapidly landing precision hits will return two rounds to the magazine. A new perk, a lot like triple tap, but in my opinion, better. So this, I cannot wait to get farming for. Hopefully the drop rates ain't super rare like a lot of the weapons are in now, Nightfall exclusive, so yeah. We all look forward to seeing this, people. Okay, so lastly, we have something well which seems super interesting. Now I've seen people say it could be the new last word. I won't go that far, but hey, I do understand where they are coming from. It's a weapon called Trust, and it's obtained from Drifter Rank Up packages. So this weapon has explosive payload, which we know is great, but it also has full auto. Full auto and a hand cannon? What the heck? Sounds good and it's this pack alone why I believe many people are comparing it to the last word. I ain't though for sure, but hey, you never know. I guess we would just have to wait and see in game. I mean, actually, when you think about it, the last word would be a great addition to the way PvP is right now. I think it would fit in better than ever. So we will see guys, we will see. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you want to check out the entire D2 Forsaken Armory, check out the link to like.gg in the video description. And never mind, before we tune out, Every month I give away a fully customizable controller for either Xbox or PlayStation sent anywhere in the world. To be in with a chance of winning it, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, make sure you subscribe to the channel and follow the Gleam link at the top of the video description. It's fast, simple and legit guys. But on that note, I am out. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.